Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a new die that's in the annual catalog. It is this Cracker and Treat Box die. It's super cute. So, this is what the treat box is made from. This is like the base of the die. And then you have some little hearts and stars and then a bunch of different little um, outlines or windows that you can make to go with it. So, really fun. Um, I've been playing with it and I thought a great idea would be to come up with ways that you can make it different sizes because this makes one size box, which is super cute and very fun, but sometimes you need a box that's bigger or longer or different shaped or what have you. So I have been playing with it and I've come up with a, a few different ideas that I want to share with you. I'm sure there's even more than what I've come up with but I wanted to just share those with you. So I'm gonna show you first what a typical box looks like. So here's one made up just, just how this goes. So this is the size that it is. You can use just a regular six by six piece of designer series paper or pattern paper to make these. They're very cute and then all the pieces are scored. You just fold it up and put it together and it's super easy. You can see on this one, I made a little window here and there's a window sheet and I put some of the stars in there for a little shaker. So this has a little confetti shaker in it. So I wanted to show you how I do the next one. I'm gonna show you what I do to cut it out. So I have just a regular piece of six by six paper here and I ran this through two times. So I used two pieces of designer series paper and I ran them through, so I only cut it to this part right here on the paper, okay? So I cut two of those pieces out, and I already have them done, so I'll show you here. They come out looking just like this, okay? So you can take this and you could put those together just like this and make something that looks like this here. So you can see I have just a little um, seam here where they come together, but basically it's the same idea. And if you can't tell, I'm, I kind of have a 4th of July Independence Day style going with these boxes. The reason I chose that is because I was looking at our new in colors and I thought if you just take away this parakeet color, those are perfect. July 4th color. So that's why I'm kind of going with this direction here. Anyway, so you could put a cute little treat in there, stars and stripe, and hand them out to all your guests that you have at your house on 4th of July. So fun. But I wanted to show you another idea I had for extending this. So if you need one that's even longer, you can always take a piece of um, window sheet clear window sheet, so that's what this is. And I ran this also through the die, just like this, just so I could get all of those score lines on there perfectly. So I didn't cut anything out, this is just, I, I did a two by six piece, and it just gave me these perfect score lines on there, okay? So then, I'm going to take glue dots, and I'm just going to adhere that onto my two pieces of designer series paper. So one here and just match up those score lines so they all match up. Try and get it on there straight. Okay, just like that. And then do the same with the other piece. And just add that onto the other side, matching up all those score lines. So there, you've extended your box even further and you have a fun little window on the inside. So let me show you how to put the box the rest of the way together. I like to use tear and tape. It holds really well and keeps it really strong, especially with treat boxes and things that just need a little bit stronger adhesive. This will hold it together a lot better than just 
typical adhesive. So I'm just gonna put this right on the edge. I don't wanna see it through where my window sheet is, so I'm gonna skip that part and just come right back over to the other edge and then peel off my backing. And then I'm gonna bring the other side over and I'm just going to adhere that right like that and try to get it as straight as possible on camera. <laughs> it's always a little trickier to do. Just like that, okay? And then to finish off our box, you can put candy or a, like maybe even some cute little firecrackers or something in there. I don't know, is that dangerous to put firecrackers in a treat box? I, I don't know <laughs> if you can do that or not, but it would be cute. It would look really cute as a gift. And then take some twine or some ribbon and just tie off these edges. And I've pre-folded all of this, so it makes it really easy. Just tie those each of those edges off just like that. And it's super you can have a cute little box there and then add a cute saying like free onto it something like that let me show you the one that i actually have finished here it is happy fourth now on this one i used the in color glimmer paper so pretty put happy fourth and i put some red white and blue candies in there that our little nephews are obsessed with and cannot wait to get their hands on. So very cute, super fun little treat you could hand out at your 4th of July party. Okay, the next one I wanted to show you, this is another typical sized one, but like I showed you before, there are these little cutouts in here. So this one has stars. There's also these cute little hearts you can do. So that's another way that I did a window. You can see I put some more of those little candies in there and those just have the little stars cut out. So I didn't use any um, window sheets on that because I didn't need to with these candies. So that made that kind of fun. Okay, the last one that I wanna show you is this one. This one says Land of the Free. Now you can see this one's a different shape and a little bit bigger. So if you need a little bit of a bigger box, this might be the way to go. So on this one, I cut out four pieces of designer series paper, six by six designer series paper, all that same way. So cut at this same place on the die, and then I put them together. So you can see I overlapped it, so it has four sides. Another one you could do is a triangle one that has three sides. I didn't get that one done, so I don't have that to show you. But stampandjill.com will have a blog post that will show that triangle idea for sure. But you can make different sizes. You can see this is with um, the four pieces and a square, or you could do a triangle, or you could do the hexagon like these. I have loved playing with these ideas. It's been super fun to do it for Independence Day but you could take it and do it for any holiday. So if you want more ideas, make sure to check our Instagram page at Stamping Jill or our StampingJill.com blog. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Win.